If you've watched almost any creative YouTube channel, then you've almost certainly seen one of these. This is the Logitech MX Master 3 S. So why are so many people using this mouse? Well, the way that this mouse works is it comes with this software called Logitech Options Plus that allows you to build and customize what it refers to as gesture commands. This basically means that for each button, you can assign a command either to just a click or a click combined with a swipe in one of four directions. So for each button, you can assign up to five commands. But not only can you do this, but you can also create different command sets depending on the program you're working in. This makes this mouse the ultimate time-saving tool. In this tutorial, I want to talk you through the set of commands that I've put together for ultimate efficiency in After Effects. So first of all, let's start with a simple press of the left-hand side thumb button. To this, I've just assigned the letter V, which is the standard selection tool. So if you're in any other mode and you click V, you go back to the selection tool. Now here, I've just got a very simple movement animation so that I can demonstrate my next command. With a thumb press and a swipe to the right, I've set this up as Shift F9, which basically creates an ease in to the keyframes. And then with a thumb press and a shift to the left, this is Control Shift F9, which basically creates an ease out to the keyframes. With a thumb press and a movement upwards, I've set this up to be Control D to duplicate a layer. And with a thumb press and a movement downwards, I've set this up to be a delete, just to remove a layer. Now, with the forwards and backwards buttons, I've simply set a click of the forward button to be K to jump to the next keyframe, and a click of the backwards button to be J to jump to the previous keyframe. Then, with the press of the forwards button and a swipe to the right, I've set this up to be spacebar, just to pause and play the video. A click of the forward button and to the left, I've set up as Alt-Tab, so that you can easily hop between programs. Now with the downwards movement of the forward button, I set this up to be copy. So if I want to copy these keyframes, I simply do forward button downwards, move along and then forward button upwards and it will paste in the keyframes like that. Then with the gesture commands on the back button, I set this up to access some of my most commonly used tools. So for instance, a click of the back button and swipe to the right will give me the pen tool so that I can create a shape like this. And then with the press of the back button and swipe to the left is a Y command to bring up the anchor point tool so that I can move the anchor point of the shapes. A press of the back button and a down swipe will press the T command to bring up the text tool. And a press of the downward button and an upwards command will press W in order to bring up the rotation tool. For the central wheel button, you can use gesture commands, but I find that if you want to use a press and hold of the wheel button to bring up the hand tool, this doesn't work if you're also using it for gesture commands, so I have it just assigned as the central wheel. Now finally, the shift wheel mode button here. This alternates between allowing the wheel to spin freely and making it more of a mechanical ratcheted feeling. Now this isn't actually just a mechanical feature. Changing the assignment of it within the program will actually turn that command off and on on the mouse. Now, I don't like just a free spinning wheel. So I actually assign the click on this to be a special command, which is a shift click. So for instance, when I'm creating a shape, I can very easily create something like a rectangle, just like that. Now, of course, you can also assign further gesture commands to this. I've left this empty so that you can assign whatever you want. Now, lastly, the thumb wheel. The thumb wheel, I just have an additional option that this is inverted. So when I scroll it upwards, I move along the timeline like this. And when I go downwards, I go back. That's just a personal preference. You may prefer it the other way. So that concludes all the commands that I've got set up. Now, of course, I've been working with this configuration for years, so it just feels like second nature to me. But you, of course, may want to have a play with the software and come up with your own. If you want a quick summary of everything that I've discussed in this video, then I've put it in a table down in the description. And if you want to pick up your own version of the mouse as well, then please do consider using the affiliate link down there as well. It really helps out the channel. Thanks.